part two of the build for the sand muller, sand mill. Here we are here. This is it. And I have just got a little bit of advice before we run with the sequence of the build and had got it together. If you're doing anything similar to this or are planning to do anything like this, I would say plan from the uh, electric motor or the motor you're going to use because the motor I was sold in this, I do not know an awful lot about electric motors. Um, I was sold this and there was enough torque in this to push this around. There's not enough torque in this to push this around. So I'm going to for a cement mixer and gear and down so that it will have to be all underneath this piece. So it'll be all underneath here. I have to change the whole thing up. Um, but uh, like I say, if you're going to go for this, please, you know, look yourself at a, a build from the motor upwards, I would say. Yeah. Well, I don't have now. Big hindsight. Hindsight, you know, it's a great big stick we all beat ourselves with. <laughs> yeah, don't we all? Right, so here we go. There it is. And this is the build of this to follow. Cheers. Keep it lit. Okay, we're back on the sand mill. And I got this uh, turned for me. So it will go straight onto the motor. And that crop screws. It cost me a bottle of whiskey, but I think that was well worth it. Little controller here. Let's switch her on. Switch out the plug. There we go. That's the turning, and we can change the speed. Take the speed down. And then this is going to go up, and the sand mill, sand miller, this is where the, the legs will go up for the scoops and the wheels. Okay, we're going to get our hoist made up here. Uh, just get these pits on, get some wheels on. Um, We'll stick these on for counterweights because I need something to help me because I'm going to jump back onto the uh, sand mill but I need something to lift this up in the air to get working at it so this is first then sand mill. <laughs> Okay, I uh, kicked off with this bracket, just had a piece of angle. I added a, a piece on top because we need to move this motor as far, no, it'll be this way. We need to move this motor as far up as we can so I can get to those points there underneath if I need to take this off. So we had to, <laughs> I ended up putting one uh, another inch on there and find out I needed another inch 
where it would have been better just to put a plate on. But anywho, we've got it ready. So we'll get this on, get it drilled out, get it on, and uh, get this motor set up. Okay, just thinking this out on the, the hoof a little bit. Um, I've got this onto the bracket. I've got the bracket down here square. We have equal play around this. So hopefully this is sitting square now in parallel. I think. Hmm. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this up. I don't want to weld this on when the motor's on this, uh, just in case I fret. Um, yeah. Mark this, drill this, mark that, put it back on, tack it on, uh, put this on, flip this over, and uh, see if we can get the burns in the tube to fit over the top. Yep, we'll try that. I think is the way to go. So a little bit of an update. We have the outer tube cut. We have the ball bearing in here. We have the ball bearing down the bottom. Um, so that keeps this absolutely central this piece so when we come back over here where the motor has been set we have all of that uh, welded in in place we've got all that welded in in place uh, so we can still get to the keys to take out the, the motor it's spinning lovely we're gonna make a gonna make some kind of Rubber cap for that um, sealer. There we are, an old ring underneath. Can't keep the sand out of that when we're emptying in the sand. Uh, gotta dress those guys off in the corner, all those tacks. But we're kind of getting there. Um, it's looking like a sand muller, sand mill. Yes. And our door. Which is over there, get fitted on there. We've got to fit the motor underneath and make the housing for it now. We'll do that next, then flip this back over and we'll finish off. <laughs> give it a coat of paint and get it together, fit the motor, fit the switch and we'll flip her over. We've got a shoot to make but we might make it another time or we might make it now, I'm not sure. But anyway, well maybe we should make it now and then we'll, when we flip, the whole thing's flipped over and we can run it. It's a bit of an overkill with the housing I know but it was the kind of uh, brace this circle. So I'm kind of bracing it instead of running up to the switch and running to the, the motor. I kind of run it right across, just took that extra bit. And then that just gives that extra brace underneath the whole piece. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, started the scoop. Not as easy as I thought. Very complicated shape. And I would like this scoop to kind of come to a point or a pour so we can fill buckets as we go on. Okay, my thinking is, is this is the point of drop-off point. So we've got, trying to straighten this out a little bit more, 
I have a little bit more to do than that. Put a bit of heat in there. We could even get that with a weld and just tack that and bring it in. Yeah, I might just do that. Okay, change the profile of the shoot. Again, I've just been mucking around and so we came up with this idea. We've got a scoop coming in this way. We've got a shallow this way. Uh, and then we're gonna come from the floor out to here with a wider lip. And hopefully that'll work. Might have to do something here with the door. Maybe just take a little piece off there. Not sure, but we're we're going. We're just we're kind of uh, with no designs. We're just cutting pieces of metal, pieces of card, and seeing where we're going with things before we weld up. Okay, so far so good. We're going to weld on a little nut lug, so it's just bolts uh, in the place. Got to weld it here. Got this piece made. We're going to let that go long. We just have to persuade this to come on over a little bit. So we're going to put a little bit of heat in here and we're going to stretch it slightly but then we can dress that in with the wells as it comes across. Oh well, well, that was a bit of uh, fudging to get that to go in on the curve and on the straight on this and that. And you could tell by the weld that was tack, 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 tack and then I, I welded so it's a little bit rough, but we'll dress all that in. We got there. Okay, we're all wired in, plugged in, and see, switch on. Yeah, we're going. Speed control. Okay, that's a good one. On the scoop. What we'll do is we'll turn it over, get this guy down. Okay, my plan for wheels was uh, just looking at this 150 wide, 100 wide, I think 150 is the way to go. What I'm doing is then putting a the sheet around this and then pouring concrete into here. So this will be one solid piece with a threaded thing coming through there, Use it goes round, uh, tapes in the way, but that's the idea. Okay, I think what I'm going to come up with is we're going to run up here and here and then back down again, make like a, a, a U-shape on the other side as well. It'll come up then 150 to go over the wheel and down on the other side of the wheel. So that'll be there. The wheel will, piece will come up longer and again it'll brace across to the other one and we'll put a spring in here which then will pull the wheel into the bed off the piece. Yeah, I think that makes sense. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we have a U-shape here, U-shape over there, uh, frame. Uh, and on the wheels we have two running up from the wheels, cross member, but these run long and then the spring can be fixed to there and onto that, which then pushes those down into the bed, it means they can ride on the bed, but even in lumps and bumps they can't go over, but gives them more pressure. I think that's the way to go. It might not be, but hey. Okay, flying hammers. 
<laughs> Just testing out the weight. We can hear the burn in there a little bit, but hey. Didn't really get that centered really well, but it's, I think if I was doing this again, I would get this shaft sorted. I'm kind of working from the bottom up and out, so something I've learned there. Uh, should have worked out this fence before. Huh? Oh, we lost the hammer. Oh, we nearly lost the hammer. Losing a hammer. <laughs> Okay, so we got center bar, and we're going to run off these grids that are going to go down. They're going to go on to the wheels, same sort of assemblage, spring from there to there. So it springs back, pulls the wheel in as it goes around. So here goes this. Let's see what happens. Okay, got to this stage after quite a few mistakes in measurements. I've given a lot of room for washers and fittings. Um, yeah, we're also going to spring this. I'm going to be stopped at. We're going to spring this piece back here so it forces those wheels further into the ground so we've got some kind of suspension so it'll be springing forward if there's any lumps and bumps and go over them but still has pressure overall pretty pleased okay so far now I've made up these little slot pieces that will go on here meaning that I can adjust so all the adjustment will be up here so i'm going to adjust the spades or the scoops either up or down or this way just to kind of tweak them to get them right i'm sure there'll be a lot of that when i get going um uh, i'm going to fix them on here fix those on here it's just a bit of flat bar square bar so i had slots both ways uh, then we're going to forward something, or uh, we're going to be flat this way, then we're going to turn down and round, and maybe just forge it on the flat so it's right across the back of the piece to support it, and push and then come up, and maybe have to then do a twist and come up and in, so it'll all be one piece. Same with this guy over here but it'll be more direct up into here hopefully that'll work yeah uh, i've lost the heat from this uh, we're nearly there. We're getting a nice curve on this. Coming up and round. And we just need to straighten that out. Just need to twist it a little bit more here. I think we should be getting one. Uh, but then, okay, a little bit of twisting and turning. We have this, which runs up to this. So we're down and we're scooping around and onto the, the scoop itself. A twist. I think a forged joint would be better than welded, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, see what's stronger. Okay, so far we've got this coming down, we have a twist, we've bent it round on the, the broad side. It's fitting well. Got a concern though. What do you think? Do you think we need another rib? Run it just up behind of this. Uh, we need need a broader plate on the top of this so we get two bolts in it. Stop any that will leave it that way. Um, also, is that forged 
joint will be enough or do we need something braced from here to here? What do you think? Hmm. It is one of those things I could take off and add to. It does, you know what? Um, I have a funny thing, there's going to be a lot of tweaking on this. But uh, yeah, the shovel kind of fits pretty well. Um, the scoop. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think I do need one on here. I'm going to put one here. I think no harm in doing that. This fixed. Residue of this and maybe get a larger head on top of this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, at this point, I've just adjusted those. Let's uh, wear it in. Clear coat. Uh, you can see that I, uh, I, mean, I don't know if you think it's a good idea or not, but this uh, thread bolt I can put this in and out. So uh, and it just gives more stability to the to these uh, lengths here. So let's just put it on. Yeah, it's just clicking here and there. Not too bad. Oh, got these uh, on order, so uh, this could be overkill. Um, the weight of these weeds are going to be quite hefty, but I just thought um, something from there to there, just pulling. So it's pulling the wheel in into the uh, actual bed um, but not a great deal of pressure I don't want a lot of pressure you know um, so whenever it does right over anything it's not clattering it's gonna have a spring to it and run over the lumps uh, worth fitting I mean it's only I'll maybe just draw a few just what four holes eight holes you know so might as well go for it and try it out one there, one there. I think we can open these out, yeah. And we'll just put it through a little hole. End of the day, we have these on, spring. Okay, wheels ready, ready, finished. Well, need to be filled with cement. Over here, we have a nice sand pattern for the scoops, right in the center of the wheels. Gotta change the motor. We're running into a few problems with that. I was gonna use a cement mix motor. It has a large uh, cog that needs to turn. Uh, the gear, the motor down, it's going to be underneath. That means this scoop is going to be in the way because we're about 21 centimeters out. So that's going to have to be reconfigurated along with this. So a little bit more to do. I would say if you were starting anything like this that you <laughs> get a guaranteed motor and work from there. Uh, this is turning a bit of a nightmare, trying to rip all this out again. But we will do it and we'll get it going. So, 
There it is. All this refinery. I just have to change that whole bottom out. Ugh. And a stronger motor. But overall, I'm quite pleased. I've got something there that works. To the extent of its principal works of turning, crushing, and depositing the sand. Just need to give it a bit of muscle. Keep it lit.